What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today is Tuesday and that means new content for Destiny and this week we're getting the return of the Queen. So there's basically three new pieces or new things to do in Destiny. Uh, the first one being some new bounties from the Queen. Uh, these are pretty good bounties. They have a lot of experience to them and they will also earn you a new reward called the Queen's Favor which you'll use at a new merchant. So. Uh, the first thing you want to do is definitely go and get one of these bounties because this is also going to get you on the road to getting a new piece of legendary chest armor. So once you get a bounty, come back here, check out the new uh, retailer. She is the Queen's Emissary. She doesn't sell much and what she sells isn't that spectacular. Uh, but you will basically start earning reputation points so that you can start upgrading her by doing the bounty. So you might as well check out what she's got. Uh, the... You know, the whole motif of the queen is centered around purple and gold. So most of the stuff they sell is really kind of centered around those colors. I like the hunter armor, kind of that, that hooded cloak thing. Uh, it looks pretty good. The weapons aren't that hot. They're rare weapons. They, they look cool because they're purple. Uh, you know, I've never seen that motif in the game before. Uh, I do really kind of like the hand cannon. I think it's cool looking just because it's a pistol and it's purple. I don't know. I just like that. But they're rare items. They're not that powerful, so they're not really that special. The hunter armor, I kind of like. I think it looks pretty cool in the gold and purple motif. Uh, I might go ahead and buy this. I'm not sure yet. But once you have checked all this out, what you want to do is go and complete your bounty. Once you do that, you'll see this open up, the Queen's Wrath. So this is a level 24 story challenge, but what it is really is just replaying one of those early missions on Earth. And it's a very, very short, very easy mission. It's on level 24, so you might die a couple of times, but since respawn is not restricted, you can just get up and start going from where you left off. You'll complete this mission within 10 or 15 minutes, and then boom, you get a legendary chest plate. So I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, I was rewarded it at the end of the mission, kind of, you know, as a reward. You'll see it pop up here, and it's uh, it's purple. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you have a warlock, a titan, or a hunter. It's always going to be a chest armor. Uh, it's always going to have this kind of purple look to it. And I kind of like it. I think it's pretty cool looking. Uh, it was very easy to get. It's without a doubt the easiest piece of armor I've gotten so far. So I'll switch to it here so you can check it out. Uh, and, you know, it's pretty cool looking. It's purple. It's gold. It's got a little bit of silvery bit to it. And uh, the... The stats are pretty good on it. It's a pretty standard piece of legendary armor, uh, but you can only get it from the queen, and I like that. So I won't be using it much because I've already got an exotic piece of chest armor, uh, but if you're still looking for a legendary chest armor, this is a very easy way to do it. So that's going to wrap this one up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.